Welcome to the Creating Region of Interest and Editing GenBank Files with Mutation Survey webinar. My name is Fuquin and I will be the presenter for this webinar. There are a couple of advantages to editing GenBank files. First, it can help with the groupings of overlapping samples into appropriate context and act as a quality control metric for regions of electropherograms that fail to meet quality standards. Second, GenBank files may contain reported variations that will allow for easy identification of specific mutation. In addition, Mutation Survey have tools that allow the software to add custom tags such as pathogenic, likely pathogenic, familial, or other tags to the reported variations as well as allow you to insert your own variation into the GenBank file. And finally, by using these tools, you can see all the transcript within the GenBank file and choose the appropriate one for your project. We will start off with a quick overview of the entire webinar. There are two main editing tools available in Mutation Surveyor. The first is the Advanced GBK File Editor, which is used to edit GenBank files. This tool will allow you to auto-create region of interest relative to the coding sequence, or manually input the region of interest positions. Either way, once all the region of interest are defined, you can save over the GenBank file, or save it as separate SEQ files. Custom tags and additional variations can also be added to GenBank files using this tool. The second tool is the SEQ file editor, which is used to edit SEQ files. This tool did not, does not have an auto-create ROI function. Instead, after importing an SEQ file or DNA sequence, you must manually define the region of interest and save it as a new SEQ or overwrite the existing one. And finally, we will go over how to create a specific reference file that can be used for mutation detection and analysis using both of these tools. To start off, the Advanced GBK File Editor can be accessed from the Tools tab in the Main Menu Toolbar. This will bring up the main window for the Advanced GBK File Editor. From here, you can click on the folder icon to bring up the Open File dialog box. Simply navigate to where the GenBank file is stored and import it. After importing the GenBank file, the protein and mRNA region are displayed on the left side. At this point, make sure you have the correct transcript and protein file you want to edit for your analysis selected. The region of interest shown here is empty at the moment. Also, there's a sequence tab, and when it is selected, the DNA sequence for the selected transcript is displayed, along with a color coding legend. Red letters are the coding sequence, and green letters are the mRNA. If you choose to auto-create the region of interest, the software will automatically create the ROI based on a coding sequence in the GenBank file. To auto-create a region of interest, go to the Tool tab in the Advanced GBK File Editor, and select Auto Create ROI. This will bring up a Create ROI from CDS dialog box. Here, you must specify how many bases to the left and how many bases to the right of the CDS to include in the region of interest. Once the regions are defined, click OK and the region of interest will populate for the selected isoform. Finally, you can choose to save over the GenBank file or choose Save As for other options. Here, you can decide which format would be more suitable for your analysis. The manual creation of the ROI offer more flexibility than the auto-create function. Here, you would choose a specific ISO form, right-click on the region of interest field, and select View Table of Values. The table of values has two columns. The first column is the region of interest. This is where the position for the ROI is defined. You must specify the starting and ending position separated by two periods in each field to create your ROI. The second column is the Amplicon ID, which you can input an identifier for each ROI. The Amplicon ID is used to help the software group overlapping Amplicons into correct contexts. After inputting in the correct value in the region of interest column and hitting OK, the Advanced GBK file editor will automatically populate the ROI and specify Amplicon ID. The saving function is the same here as it was for the auto create ROI. When using this method, it is best to specify one ROI per Amplicon or re coding region. After accessing the Advanced GBK file editor and importing a GenBank file of interest, you can add additional custom variation and tags to the GenBank file. To add a variation, right-click on the variation in the browser pane and select Add a Variation. This will bring up the Variation Settings dialog box. In this window, you will first input the position of the expected variation and the gene name. Then, you can add a tag by using the drop-down menu to assign one to the variation. After assigning the tag, 
You can also add an identifier to the variation that will appear in the comment box if the variation is detected in the samples. To add a substitution, deletion, or insertion variant, right-click in the allele frequency pane and select Add an Allele. Allele 1 is a wild type sequence, and allele 2 is the expected or reported variation. For a deletion event, you will specify the position of the first and last space that is deleted, separated by two periods. Next, you have to input a hyphen symbol for allele 2, while allele 1 will be populated with the wild type sequence, which should have the same number of nucleotides as the amount of deleted bases. It would be three nucleotides in this case for position 162,603 to position 162,605. For an insertion event, the starting position is the position after the insertion begins, and the ending position is always the next consecutive number. The length of the insertion is determined by the number of nucleotides inserted. In this case, allele 1 will be populated with the hyphen symbol, while allele 2 will be the insertion sequence, which will determine the length of the insertion. After you have finished adding the variation, click OK and then hit the refresh button in the advanced GBK file editor window. The edited variation will now show up in the allele frequency tab with a pathogenic tag attached to it. You can save the shipping file by going to File tab and selecting Save. This is an example of a project that was ran with the edited GenBank file on a CFTR gene. As you can see here, the variation at position 162,603 was called. In the mutation table at the bottom, the identifier as well as the pathogenic tag is displayed in the comment box if you select to display comments and add dbSNP ID to comments in the process settings. The tick marks displayed in the mutation electropharogram indicate position of reported variation annotated in the GenBank file. You can add many variation and tags as long as you follow the correct procedure. The second file type that an ROI can be created from is the SCQ file. SCQ files are designed for single exon analysis. If you have GenBank files with more than one exon, use the advanced GBK file editor. The SCQ file editor can be accessed from the tools tab under the advanced GBK file editor. In this main window, you can either enter a specific nucleotide string into the sequence box or import an SEQ file from the Open File button. Simply navigate to the file and click Open. Once the file has been imported, you can directly create the region of interest by manually defining the start and ending of the ROI. The position are relative to the GenBank nucleotide positions. After that is done, click the Save As button to save the SEQ file. To show an example, this is a TP53 gene SEQ file that has been edited to show a region of interest at position 61 to 241. It was saved, imported into Mutation Surveyor, and an analysis of TP53 samples were conducted using the edited SEQ file. As observed in the diagram, the analysis with the ROI defined shows a pink bar in the electropharogram indicating the region of interest. The analysis that was done without defining the ROI does not show a pink bar. For more information regarding the main analysis window view, please refer to the introductory webinar of Mutation Surveyor. In the custom report, there are options that will allow you to display region of interest information. To access the custom report, go to the report tab in the main menu toolbar and select custom report. From there, select the display tab to choose which ROI information to display. After you are finished, hit OK to generate the report. Variations with purple background are reported variations annotated in a GenBank file. ROI information such as the start and ending position, coverage or no coverage, size, FRET score for ROI, and the ROI nucleotide string are displayed. For more information regarding the custom report, please refer to the Mutation Survey Reporting Options webinar. There are a couple of things that you must know or have in order to create your own specific reference file. First, you must know the sequence of interest for your analysis. You must have a copy of the nucleotide sequence, either from a GenBank, SEQ, FASTA, or other formats. The number of nucleotides should not exceed 1200. Then, you will use the desired sequence to generate a SEF file in order for it to be used in the analysis for mutation detection against your samples. To obtain the desired sequence from the GenBank file, you must first load it into the advanced GBK file editor and go to the Sequence tab. Highlight the sequence you want to use as your reference for mutation detection, right click and select copy. Then open the SEQ file editor for mutation surveyor 
and paste the sequence into the sequence pane. Hit the refresh button to renumber the nucleotide sequence. If you have a FASA or some other form of the nucleotide string, you will repeat the same procedure to copy and paste the sequence into the sequence pane of the SEQ file editor. Hit the Save As button to save the file as an SEQ file. After saving the SEQ file, we can proceed to create the SEF file that will use the original nucleotide string that you have chosen for mutation detection. Under Tools, select Create SEF. This will bring up a dialog box with a couple of different panes. The first pane is for you to load the SEQ file or JetBank file of interest by using the Add button to import the files. If you want Mutation Surveyor to create a synthetic reference with all peaks intensity normalized at 3000 RFU, leave the option of Synthetic selected and the second pane blank. If you have a sample that you would like to use an electropharogram trace to create the reference file from, select sudo and import the reference file of interest into the second pane. Otherwise, specify the output directory and click save to generate your own SEF file. These files can then be loaded into the reference pane of the open file dialog box to be used for mutation detection during analysis. To recap, this webinar discussed the two main file types that a region of interest can be defined. The first file type is a GenPack file. The advanced GBK file editor can auto create ROIs relative to the CDS or offer you the flexibility to define a region manually. You must choose the correct transcript you want to use for the analysis when creating the region of interest. In addition, this tool also allows you to manually add variations and custom tags for specific mutations. The second file type is the SEQ file. The SEQ file editor requires you to specifically define the region of interest in the main dialog box. And the final topic was to how to create a reference file from a GenBank SEQ FASTA or other nucleotide sequence format to be used for mutation detection in the main analysis. This concludes Soft Genetic Webinar for creating ROI and editing GenBank file with Mutation Surveyor. If you would like more information or want to try a free 30-day trial, please visit www.softgenetics.com or send an email to info at softgenetics.com. You may also request for online training if you are interested in learning more about the software and its capabilities. Thank you for joining me in this webinar.